What's going on guys? It's your boy RC Josh and in this week's episode of Dragon Ball Super we get a lot of um we basically get a lot of confirmation and a lot of theorizing on a lot of different things that happen in Dragon Ball Super right now revolving around uh, Zamasu and Black. Now just start now talking about Zamasu so we have a lot of theories from Zamasu that um basically he's using the uh, Super Dragon Balls to wish for immortality which is what everybody kind of already suspected already. Now, one of the things that actually took me by surprise that I didn't even think about at first was that he could actually use the time rings to really um, jump further into the future one year because that's how long the um, Super Dragon Balls have until they actually are able to be reused again, which is kind of good to actually have that now. But um, we see that um, Zamasu went in and actually threatened Zuno, um, got confirmation, got a lot of stuff, got a lot of information on Dragon Ball Super. Um, well, the Super Dragon Balls, and got a bunch of uh, information on Goku. I mean, a ton of information on Goku that we didn't even get to see. So, more talking about that, we see that um, he basically, um, with all the, I guess you could say, theories from um, Beerus and Whis, is that basically he kind of went in and was just like, yeah, let me create an evil version of Goku that is basically my own servant that I can personally use and do everything. He has all the same abilities as Goku, and he can do every basically everything that Goku could do, and it probably is already stronger just for the simple fact that he's evil. Uh, gonna have to take a nail here. But with that, it's basically saying that um, he is going to actually try to murder Gowasu, and I, I figured this was gonna happen just for the simple fact that the T that they kept um, bringing up and talking about was probably going to be one of the key things that actually happened in this episode and it looks like it is it looks like the t is what's going to be the thing to do it so i'm not necessarily i'm not even hating on that actually i figured i figured you know the the most would happen when it come from this and yeah let me take get rid of this but other than that other than seeing him being the way he is with um zamas um I don't necessarily see a lot of other things coming from uh, Zamas because we already know that he's evil already. We already know. We see that whenever he's um, going in and actually talking, whenever uh, Gawasu is talking with uh, Beerus, Whis, uh, the Kaioshin, and um, Goku, we see that, you know, he has that ominous presence. He has an evil aura around him. You see that while he's walking, he's just, his eyes are so dark and he's just like, He's, he's evil. Like, that's that's the only thing you can actually put it that way. And while Gawas is actually talking to the to them, he's basically saying that he's changed his ways. He's not like that anymore. There were some rough patches to where he thought, like, oh, you know, maybe he could be losing his way and he probably had to get rid of him. But it seems like um, Zamas did a really good job of actually, you know, doing it so he would, you know, he would fool him. Like, he just, he just completely fooled him. Like, and it's, it's crazy to really see but he fooled him into thinking that he had changed his ways and he was out doing his own stuff and he, like they try to um, stop Goku from basically talking about things that uh, Zamasu is actually doing and um, they go into it basically by saying like hey you like have you seen him when's the last time you've seen him when's the last time you talked to him when's the last time you did anything with him and he's kind of just like well you know um, it was a little it was a little bit ago I don't know where he is right now I, I personally don't know and I kind of thought of that as, okay, like, so, like, Gawas is actually being this, um, this, you know, Kaioshin, he's actually being this, um, I guess you could say protector more, and he's just like, yeah, whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah this, or, you know, blah, blah, blah that, or I'm trying to, like, look after my student and like, trying to guide him into the light, and it's basically he's failing miserably at it, because obviously that he doesn't know that Gawas, like, Zamasu is planning on killing him. But he is. Now, one of the other things I want to talk about in this episode is that we see that Goku, after they had ate these sensor beans, that they got back up and Goku's kind of just like, yeah, I want to go back and, um, you know, try it again. I want to go back and have another crack at him. And it's kind of weird to see that because it's just like they both beat you pretty bad and you want to go back to fight them again. Like, I don't know if Goku maybe thinks that if Goku and Vegeta basically attack, you know, Black together, that at least, like, maybe they might stand a chance against him. But I personally don't see it. I personally don't see them standing any chance whatsoever against them all. Just for the simple fact that 
I mean, they got beat pretty bad. I mean, pretty bad last time. So it's just, uh, you might want to chill out, maybe do some training, maybe find some other stuff, maybe take care of the threat that's here now. But for, um, I want to say maybe for a little bit of my own theories, I would have to say that I personally think that what's going to happen is that, like I said, I, I, I want to go ahead and just say that I haven't watched any of these leaked videos that are going around because like I like to have everything on the spot and not be spoiled. But I personally um, think that Goku might go up against like Zamasu himself as we as we already see again. And um, maybe beats him, maybe beats him this, maybe beats him this time. It's kind of just like, so you were evil, you know, playing everybody all along. Um, and then maybe it uh, looks like Zumas might try to get away or maybe try to uh, use a time ring or something like that. Because it looks like he's actually gonna maybe, I won't say be successful at um, killing Gawas, but it looks like he's gonna, like he's gonna be in the act of doing it. And then they're gonna step in because they were watching. So I would definitely say that um, they're gonna go in and maybe intervene before Gawas, you know, passes away or, or anything like that. And, um, you know, save him. And then he, they're gonna be like, see, this is your student that he's still fooled you. He's in, the, he's in this path of evil. And they're gonna go ahead and take care of him that way. Maybe Goku beats him again. And then they stop that threat there. Um, I would personally like to see that. But, uh, it's, mm, like, I don't know what it is about Dragon Ball Super right now. It's so good. Like, I just don't, I don't know. But definitely for this episode, I probably would have to give this a good, um, a good seven good seven out of ten because it was a, it was a good episode i will i will say even though there wasn't a lot of you know action that took place and wasn't a lot of you know fighting or anything it was actually still a, a pretty decent episode for what it was because i mean you can't fault it um we did get some confirmation on a lot of stuff that we were all basically looking forward to and basically seeing so you can't fault that you can't say like oh well blah blah this or blah blah that um i personally enjoyed it um, you guys can let me know in the comment section below what how you thought of this episode and what you would actually rate it. And you can also tell me if you um, are really digging this new little layout that I have for the um, episode reviews. Now, I don't know how much, I don't know, I'll probably try to do this for um, Naruto Shippuden as well, but I'm pretty sure that Naruto Shippuden has, um, I think it's, I think they have a two um, weeks off. Um, just for a simple fact, that I think I don't know they might be still working on some of the animations for this Naruto Sasuke fight but definitely guys let me know in the comment section below what your theories are to this episode what you think of um, just anything that has to do with Dragon Ball Super at the moment uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill off Chase, Jace real quick just for a simple fact that it's Jace don't nobody like Jace don't nobody like him but I'm gonna go ahead and kill him off real quick and you guys can still let me know um, in the comment section below what you're ranking right now for the world tournament for global. And if you're excited for the GT stuff that is coming for global as well. Right now I'm on JP, handing it out, collecting stones, cause I think we're gonna get the GT banner uh, pretty soon with Omega Shinron and stuff. So yeah, if, if you can still farm uh, dragon stones and stuff, do it. Definitely do it because it will be worth it. Oh, I can't wait because I want to pull Super 17 so bad. So bad. You have no idea. If I pull Super 17, I will probably freak the hell out. Not even not even go to lie there. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed the video, smack a like on it. And I always subscribe to the channel if you are new. Dolphin Battle videos, uh, Naruto videos, Dragon Ball videos, every, you know, it all. It, it all. Anime and gaming. All baby, all. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm getting too comfortable on camera. That's all it is. I'm out, guys. Peace. You Make are your the first um, winner. For code just um, in case. Ready for update the game Vegito. and be ahead of things. Um, I don't know. Just we, stay on top. We, we don't stuff. know when we're gonna be getting that now. Because you but, don't want to get messed over and then uh, have to call Bandai and try to get your account back or something happens. Winners 